All right, what's on the bench today? We have this bag that's marked with an odd uh, label from Old TI, Texas Instruments, R&D Lab. So Texas Instruments Laboratory, I guess. Um, I guess the guy worked there and um, or somebody else worked there and these came along for the ride and have made it probably through several hands, I imagine, <laughs> and they came to me. Um, and so they, they look like transistors and they are like a TO5 can, but much taller. So I'm calling them TO5 and a half. Um, and uh, they're almost double a TO5 uh, can. So th they have my head scratching. So I don't quite understand these things. Now I assume they're transistors, right? So let's put one on a transistor tester and push the button. And it says it's a PNP, bipolar PNP, beta of 58, uh, one milliamp. Uh, yeah, VBE of 35 millivolts. That's pretty low. Anyway, um, yeah, so they're a transistor of dubious value. <laughs> and, um, but these packages, I, I don't understand why these packages are so big. So I opened one up. And uh, this is what I found inside. I cut the top off, so now it's about a TO5 worth. <laughs> and the half is this thing over here. And then this little mint fell out. <laughs> so let's take a look under the microscope. Um, you can see here, uh, it's kind of upside down. Normally the, the actual transistor is mounted at the base of the TO5 can, but this time it's kind of mounted on this copper slug, kind of suspended up in air upside down. And that's why it's taller because it needs this big slab of copper. So you'd think they were working on some high powered um, type of device and trying out maybe a new heat sink. Um, and in order to put this thing together, there's this little ceramic disc that sort of is a spacer in there and that falls out and then you're left with this uh, plug. You can take the plug out and take a look at it and it's kind of odd. It's, 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 it has three connections, the, the actual slug itself then kind of a ring around the die and then like a little center contact on top of the die. So very bizarre. Never seen one. <laughs> Probably never seen one again. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty weird. Um, so anyway, here's one on a curve tracer. Um, let's see here, one volt. So we have 10 volts across and you can see that it's starting to do the upturn thing there. Let me um, change ranges here. So here, one volt is, let's see, so two volts per division. So two, four, six, eight, ten. I'm sorry, ten volts. Right at ten volts, it starts to go bad, okay? So it's kind of a low voltage part and a low current part, too. So we've got 500 milliamps per division. So one milliamp, two milliamp, three milliamps, something like that. Yeah, kind of a weird device. And it's not, it, uh, it's just strange. Uh... It's got some funniness at the beginning and uh, yeah, beta is about 75. Okay, fine. But yeah, it's just a, it's a weird part. And uh, I, I don't know exactly, you know, what's going on. I mean, the heat sink obviously is to keep it cool. If I put my hand on the, uh, on the device and heat it up with my hand, you can see everything starting to go up. And then if I hit it with a little bit of free spray, Everything goes down. So I don't know what this thing is. It's, it's, it's quite strange. All right. So people are going to say, well, are there any markings on the, uh, are there any markings on the case? And yes, there are. They say, uh, one, one, nine at the top. Can I? Can I zoom in on this? No, not really. I uh, probably should take a picture of this. Um, but yeah, 119 and 028. So yeah, uh, this one's 138. 
zero two eight. This one is zero three one three nine zero two eight. So I don't know if they're they're serialized for testing purposes. Uh, or there's another one three nine. Yeah, I don't know what they are. <laughs> one four one oh two nine oh two eight. So they're all oh two eights, but uh, various other numbers, uh, really long, long stout leaves on them. Anyway, uh, anybody have any info on these things or otherwise, I don't know, I have no idea what to do with these things. Thank you.